In game one, Adam Mulligan but kept his next six. Gindy started on seven. Adam played the first of many vivid lands and, despite ten d6 on the table, looked for more. He knew they would be settling in for a long game, especially with so many dead game one cards. Each player had volcanic fallouts, plume veils, hallowed burials, and additional spot removal to bias their decks against the elves, kithkin, fairies, and jund decks through the swiss rounds. Both players had four lands when Adam cracked the seal with an esper charm to draw two cards. He attempted to stick a Jace Bellerin, but it was negated. Gindy was content to play draw go and just used esper charm at the end of Adam's turn while they both played lands and the occasional plume veil. Deep into the action, Gindy was ahead 13 to 9 on lands, that is. The life totals had not been scratched yet. Rather than discard, Adam played Path to Exile in his own Plume Veil, bringing the land totals to 15 to 12 for Gindy. It was 16 to 13 when Adam decided to go aggro and ask Gindy to discard two cards with Esper Charm. Gindy pitched Essence Scatter and Volcanic Fallout. Adam did it again, and this time Gindy decided to Cryptic Command that one. That drew Negate from Adam and another Cryptic Command from Gindy. Adam played Broken Ambitions for three, and Gindy paid, and then drew two from the commands on the stack. Adam untapped to play the Cruel Ultimatum he exhausted Gindy's counter magic for the previous turn. There were two cards left in Adam's hand, and Gindy had five mana to attempt the third Cryptic Command. Adam played Broken Ambitions for two, and revealed a Johnny Vengeant for Gindy, and a land for Adam. He got back a previously pitched Broodmate Dragon. Charles Gindy could only keep one card and pitched Moldrifter, a Johnny Vengeant, and Negate. Charles Gindy untapped to play the Reveal the Johnny Vengeant with one mystery card left in hand. Adam played Broodmate Dragon, and the card turned out to be Gindy's fourth cryptic command. Adam shrugged, played Cruel Ultimatum, and got the dragon back to try again next turn. A Johnny Vengeant went up to five loyalty, keeping his sunken ruin submerged for Gindy, but the best he could hope for was a fog effect from his planeswalker in the long run, as Adam's next attempt at Broodmate Dragon was successful. Gindy ticked a Johnny Vengeant's loyalty up to six before the planeswalker fell to the victim of a twin strike from the dragons. Gindy tried to climb back into the hand business with Esper Charm and the Mole Drifter. Adam played Broken Ambitions on the Elemental for ten mana. Gindy X spelled back for six. Adam had Cryptic Command. Do you have anything left? Asked Gindy, who was at 10 before the next dragon hit. Do you have a fallout? Adam flashed him Cruel Ultimatum. Thank you, said Charles Gindy. I just drew it, Adam told him. Adam, your chick is now up one game to zero.